again in the National Hockey League. Score! The Kings are the 2014 Stanley Cup champions. Hollywood versus Broadway, East versus West, a marketing dream come true for the NHL as the Kings will face the Rangers in the Stanley Cup final. The final series is probably one that everybody was looking forward to. First ever time that Los Angeles and New York have met in the Stanley Cup final. Well, East Coast, West Coast, LA, New York, it's great for hockey when you have two big markets like that. Having the two big cities involved, it certainly was something we were very excited. I know the league was excited. The Stanley Cup final, it seems to be the NHL's dream, New York, Los Angeles. Two major markets, two star-studded teams. Uh, New York Rangers came out of nowhere to get to the finals. They were built a lot like a Western team with big forwards that could skate. They had uh, some defensemen that could really move the puck. They had a great goaltender. Uh, they're really well coached, great goaltending. Their speed was right there with us. Another new challenge. You know, here you are, the favorite, and you're opening up in your rink. Haven't been there before. Now they're starting at home, and they're the favorite. I don't think there's any question. That's a different mindset. There was a lot of hype. From Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, it's game one of the Stanley Cup final between the Los Angeles Kings and the New York Rangers. First time the Kings and the Rangers have ever met in the Stanley Cup final. Well, we were down early again in game one. Um, not something we expected. You know, we thought we were going to have a great start in our building and our fans behind us. Richards slipped a check through the puck back towards the blue line. Dowdy tried to reel it in and cook. Here's the chance for Benoit Pouliot. He scores! Their first goal is a direct result of a bad decision. A very bad decision. Pouliot shoots and scores! Drew Dowdy tried to make a play at the blue line. He got stripped of the puck and the Rangers scored on a breakaway. Drew knew it was a mistake. Everybody knew it was a mistake. The best way to explain our team mentality is Drew Dowdy. And he wasn't worried about it. Then he makes probably maybe one of the best plays in all the playoffs. First period, here is Justin Williams for the King. I passed it up to him in the blue line. He threw it through his legs. I made a couple of shimmy shakes. The only way he can get by the defender is by going between his own legs. At the same time, he can't slow down too much, otherwise the back pressure is going to catch you. So he keeps his momentum going forward. And this is all in a, you know, second and a half here. Dropping it off for Dowdy. Dowdy moves in, in on goal, Dowdy. Shoots! See the goal like that and how fired up he was. Um, that's contagious. But I think he's the best defenseman in the world, and to be able to pull off a play like that with the skill that he has is is pretty neat. And then to be able to finish it and score, and we feed off that. Unbelievable play through a leg, something I would never even try. I'd probably fall on my face. I'm not anyway surprised what he did. This is what he does. I just shake my head in amazement, but not in shock. It's more like, yep, he did it again. That's an elite play. There's not many guys can do that even in practice. And goals like that can inspire not only a player, but an entire team. I remember talking just before OT. Willie leaned over to me. We're sitting right next to each other in the locker room. He said, I've never had a playoff OT winner. I think I just told him, well, now it's a good time to do it. I just remember both teams kind of in OT, kind of feeling each other out, and there wasn't too much action going on. Really a harmless looking play. The puck is dumped into the uh, Rangers' end. Mike Richards, I think he, he wants to change on the play, but he just senses that, that danger factor. He just senses it. And when you look at it, he kind of waits and he hesitates, and Girardi throws it right up the boards, right to Richards. Girardi with it. He fell down, turned it over. If he goes for the change, it's out of the zone, nothing happens. When Mike got the puck, it was just kind of with a, right in line with all of us, and the media thought was, does he see Willie? Can this play get to Willie clean? And let Willie do the rest. As I saw the same thing that Richards was seeing, I just stayed in front of the net. Mike just takes a quick peek, and he sees uh, Justin Williams to his right right between the circles, and he's open. I knew when Stick got it in the slot there, it was going to the net. And now Girardi with it. He fell down, turned it over. 
in front, Williams. Shot. Score! That shot was incredible. It was perfectly placed. I think it, it went right in and, and the elbow. You probably couldn't have picked a corner anymore without actually hitting the post. And how quickly Williams gets it, turns, and releases without giving away anything. So deceptive. The guy just got a knack for goal scoring. And those guys, they exist, and you don't know how they do it. They see things that you don't. Just Willie doing his thing. There he is, the gunslinger. You know, time and time again, you just shake your head. Does it surprise you? No, but as you say, amazing. Justin Williams, who's had so many big game sevens in his playoff career, now has a big game one. But Justin Williams in game, you know, sevens historically and, and throughout his career in all big games, big moments, you know, was on a stick very short time and he was putting that top, <laughs> top shelf on, on one quest was pretty amazing. It's great to see because the, the excitement and, and the smile on his face and everything, it was just, uh, it was fantastic. I immediately jumped on and went to him and I told him that I, I told him so that he was going to do it. Justin Williams wins game one of the Stanley Cup final in overtime for the